Hey, in today's episode, we're going to dive a bit more in Gopher RFC and learn what a directory is. We'll also implement our flog article list. What's a Gopher directory? Well, basically, it's a Gopher-specific file type in which you can create hyperlinks. Unlike HTTP, you cannot create hyperlinks whatever you want. You need to use a specific file type to do that. So everything is specified in the RFC 1436, the Gopher RFC. So yeah, basically, the, a Gopher directory looks like this once it's rendered. You have a link list and for each link, you have the signification of the link. So here, all these links are directories. But for instance, here you have two other links, a file and an HTML file. So basically, unlike HTTP, the link here also know what the file pointed is. So the, the directory file format look like this. You have a list of links. First, you have an integer. So this integer specify what kind of item is linked. So for instance, the zero integer means the item is a file, the one integer means uh, the item is a directory, etc., etc. So you then have a label, basically uh, what will be rendered as link, uh, a URI, a server host name, and finally, the server port. I try to keep my screencast under the 20 minutes bar. So I made some modification to last quick code. I added the server hostname as well as a content directory to the configuration data type. So the content directory is the directory in which all the posts for our flog are contained. All right, uh, I also propagated this configuration file all the way down to the send response function. So let's implement this send response function. So we have a request. So this request contain the document the user want to retrieve and is terminated by a courage return line feed sequence. So first we want to decrypt the URI, right? Because it's a byte string, an array of bytes. So first let's decode this request and then we want to process this request. Basically we want to get rid of uh, the uh, carriage return line feed and just get the URI. So let's split one carriage return line feed and let's get the head of this newly created list. Once we have the head, we basically want to escape uh, all the symbols that are not a file name. So basically we're just going to use the get file name, the take file name, sorry, take file name function to get the name of the file we want to retrieve. Right, so we want to check, uh, whoa, this is not in the IO model, this does not have any sign effect. Then we want to check if this file actually exists on the disk. And we want to take this URI and to we want to prepend this URI with the content directory. Yeah, here are two options. This file exists. In that case, we just want to read the file from the disk. And return it to the user. Otherwise, uh, we, we want to show the directory, meaning that we want to show the list of available posts. So we're going to introduce two functions here. The first one will be the getPost function. So what's this function? So this function, given a configuration, will return a directory. Directory. All right, but what's a directory, you may ask? Good question. Well, a directory is simply an IRA of directory entries. <laughs> but 
what's a directory entry, right? Well, a directory entry is basically one line for our directory. Now we're going to use the singular here. So what's a directory entry? Well, it will contain all the fields shown previously in here. So first, oops, we'll have the entry type. So it will be a directory entry type, but basically a directory entry type will be an integer. Then we'll have a label. We're going to implement that as a text. We'll have an URI, also a text, a host name, so a text. Uh, we're going to call that dear host. And finally, a dear port, an integer. All right. So here, this function here, will retrieve the list of the posts available for this flag. But we cannot return that directly. We need to render somehow this list of posts. So we'll have a second function called render directory. It will take as input a directory and will return a text representing this directory. Let's check if we are good type-wise. Oh, we are not. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This function here will perform some side effects. Because we will want to uh, get those posts from the disk. And here we want to render this directory. And we need to lift that in the IO monad. We still have some problems. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, basically, we'll retrieve the response from this, and we want to return this response, but we want first to encode it. And yeah, then we want to return it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The, this type signature here is, is wrong. We want an IO byte string. Oh yeah, here, basically, this is a text. So I need to unpack this text to a string to be able to use this function here, take file name. All right, now we should be good. I, I forgot to save. Right, <laughs> that was a stupid mistake. Okay, so let's start to implement those two functions here. So we're going, we're first going to implement the get post function. So here we want to first list the content directory. Then we want to send the file list to a function called get dear entry. So basically this function here is going to transform a file path to a directory entry. So it will perform side effects. Let's implement that. So obviously we want to return a directory entry. And then we're going to generate the directory entry only using this file path. So as entry type, we'll specify a directory because we want all the files of our flog to be directory in order to create hyperlink directly from within our articles. Then we'll have the label. We want to drop the extensions of the file name. What's the file name? Yes, we need to calculate that. We will need several times in this function. So the file name is basically take file name of fp. Yeah, let's make that strict. All right, so we want to drop the extensions. And finally, we want to pack that in a 
string in a text. Uh, I forgot the comma here. Then we'll have the URI. So the URI will be prepended by a slash. And we want to append the file name. Then we'll have oh, I just forgot the comma. Then we'll have the host name. So here we're just going to take the host name specified in the configuration. Dear uh, no, it's all right. Here it's called dear host, and we're going to take the host name of the configuration file. And same here, we'll have the dear port, and it's going to be the port of the configuration file. All right. Hmm, there is a problem here, line 68. Oh yeah, here we need to pack the file name. Yeah, we need to pack the file name into a string, a text, into a text. All right, we're good. Well, we're almost done. We just need to implement this render directory function here. So if you remember correctly, the directory is actually a list of directory entries. So here, what we wanna do, is to iterate on each directory entry and to accumulate those entries in a text. So this is a fold function, right? We're going to fold using a function that we'll call, I don't know, render entry, using the empty accumulator as a starting point. So let's implement render entry. Basically this function will take a directory entry as input Oops. and will return something like this line here. Yeah, let me cut it here. Something like this line. So first we're going to append this to the accumulator. And we're going to concatenate. First, we need the directory entry type. Uh, so, entry type. Then, oh, let me reformat that. It's a bit messy here. Uh, yeah, here. First, we'll have the entry type. Then, we'll have the label, then all those fields here are separated using a tabulation. So we'll need a tabulation here, and then we'll have the URI, another tabulation, the dear host, another tabulation, and finally the dear port and we'll end up the line with a carriage return line fit. All right. So, oh, no, 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 we're not good because here entry type and the airport are actually integers. So we'll need, a, let's call it I to integer to text function. And basically we are going to show the integer, but we are going also to pack this string in a text. So here we're going to need to convert this entry type as well as the port type to text. Are we good? We are good. It's actually the first time I'm writing this. I'm a bit amazed. <laughs> There's obviously something wrong, but I cannot tell. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot something actually. According to the Gopher specification, a response should always end with a carriage return line feed with an empty line containing only a dot. If you remember correctly from last episode, I forget that here. All right. So now we should be good. Well, let's try it out. Right. Let's try to access that. And we're good. 
we have two dummy article and actually if I enter one article the content of this article is returned all right great well we're done hey thanks for watching if you like it please see this video if you like to see more of those you can subscribe through email rss or via mastodon please do not subscribe to my youtube channel take care see you next week